Lauren Perkins has always dreamed of becoming a mom. After spending a difficult year trying and failing to fall pregnant, the idea of fertility treatment didn't seem so scary anymore. She and her husband, David, decided to take a vacation to Nicaragua to consider their next step. The couple, along with some friends, did exactly that. Whilst there, Lauren talked openly about their struggles to conceive. One of their friends, a priest, replied calmly, Someone up there has big plans for you. I don't know what, but it will be big. At the time, it sounded strange. Lauren would soon realize the words really carried some weight. After the Nicaragua trip, Lauren returned home to Texas. She didn't think much about what the priest had said during the vacation. On the contrary, her and David had decided on one thing. They wanted to try out artificial insemination, the simplest method of assisted fertilization. Lauren was convinced that it wouldn't work, that she was destined to be barren. But it did. Lauren finally fell pregnant. In the first routine check, Lauren was told by nurses that her HCG levels were very high. That meant there was a strong possibility there was more than one child growing inside of her. Lauren and her husband were delighted at the idea they might have twins or even triplets. They had struggled for so long to have a child that the idea of having more than one was too good to be true. Monday morning, April 23, 2012, the day arrived. Lauren was in week 30 of her pregnancy. Children born before the 37th week are considered premature. A lot of effort was taken by the hospital staff to ensure that the delivery happens properly. A total of 35 people from the hospital gathered inside the delivery room. As the birth got underway, the doctor needed the help of six nurses standing by to receive each baby as it came into the world. I was nervous and excited all at once. It was starting to sink in that this was for real. I was going to have six babies. Lauren said, delivery, it took almost four minutes for all the six munchkins to come out. Needless to say, kids weren't healthy. At four days old, Allison was the first baby in a stable enough condition to be held. It took the nurse 10 minutes to get all the wires and monitors up so Lauren could hold her. And that moment when I got to hold my baby was when I became a mother of sex tuplets, Lauren explained. First few weeks were very crucial for all the kids, but slowly, all of them recovered. It took babies four months to recover properly. Five of the babies were able to go home at four months old. Little Leah had to stay in the hospital for an additional few weeks, as she was the smallest and had struggled for space inside the womb. She was literally buried underneath everybody else in the womb, said Lauren, so she didn't get the right nutritional flow. Her brain was not fully developed. But look at these kids now. Aren't they the cutest? My doctor was the best and I'm forever grateful for him to the level of care that I received, Lauren says. Also, the NICU staff who put in hours upon hours getting our children ready to come home and teaching us the ins and outs of preemie care. So many of these people have a special place in our hearts and family. Then the ultrasound came. A staggered doctor studied the screen for a few seconds and delivered the shocking news.